In this video, I'm gonna show you how to modify your induction motor to make it work with 12 volt instead of 220 volt. Here I have this 30 watt motor. It came with a blade, so it is a fan. The real power consumption is 29 watts, and the rotation speed is more than 1400 RPM, which is the same as it mentioned on the label. First, I remove the screws and nuts and open it up. As you can see, we have four coils connected together in series. I have to remove them from the stator. Now it's time to remove the old coil and wind in a new one. But I need to know how many tors number exist here. To do that, I'm using my drill and tachometer. This tachometer has counting feature. I'm using it to count the tors number of the coil. As you can see here, it is 1089. Now the 1089 tors run in the motor on 220 volts. So how many tors number we need to run it on 12 volts? It is just a simple calculation which give us 60 tors. I want to use this wire with diameter of 0.4 mm. If you wind in the first coil clockwise, the second one must be counterclockwise. And so on. It's very simple. When I done, I put them back inside the stator. I solder the wires and use the shrink tube. So now it's time to test. I'm using a variable AC supply to run in the motor. As you can see, the motor working just fine with very low voltage. The rotation speed stay more than 1400 RPM as it was before. However, the current become 2.5 amps. It's okay because this motor is 30 watt and it must stay 30 watt even after modification. Decreasing the voltage increase the current, that's the rule. This motor run in with AC voltage only, but if you want to run it with 12 volt battery, you have to use this circuit. This circuit take the DC and convert it to AC without changing the voltage. The output waveform is square wave however, but it works just fine. This battery cannot run in the motor for a long time. I use it just for this presentation. Here you can see the difference between the old winding wire and the new one. The new wire is thicker to handle more current. So maybe you're wondering why we have to use a low voltage induction motor. There is something called SELV which stands for safety extra low voltage. It refers to any voltage less than 50 volt AC. It used in the pool and somewhere in the hospitals to prevent electric shock. So this kind of low voltage induction motor could be useful in SELV systems. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.